Have you ever pondered about the intricate maze that is the divorce filing process? It's a journey paved with layers of complexity, from understanding the legal jargon and filling out mountains of paperwork, to managing the emotional turmoil that comes with it. The process is far from simple, and it's easy to get lost in the labyrinth of laws and regulations. Don't let this deter you. The purpose of this video is to illuminate the path through this daunting maze. We aim to simplify the process, breaking it down into digestible parts, making it less intimidating and more manageable. We'll tackle the legal complexities, demystify the paperwork, and provide strategies to handle the emotional aspect of divorce. This journey may be challenging, but remember, every labyrinth has its exit. So what does it really take to navigate this labyrinth of legalities? Let's dive deeper. Embarking on the divorce journey begins with a crucial step, filing the petition. Let's break down this process into digestible bites so you can navigate this path with more ease and less worry. First off, you need to decide whether you're going to hire a lawyer or represent yourself. This is a personal decision, one that hinges on your comfort level with legal procedures and your financial resources. A lawyer can offer legal advice and represent you in court, but if you feel confident navigating the legal labyrinth, you can choose to represent yourself. Next comes drafting the divorce petition. This is a legal document that outlines your reasons for seeking a divorce and the relief you're seeking, such as custody of children or division of property. It's important to be thorough and accurate in this step, as this document lays the groundwork for your case. Once the petition is ready, it needs to be served to your spouse. This is known as serving the petition. It's not a casual email or a text message. It's a formal notification that a divorce process has been initiated. This step ensures that your spouse is aware of the proceedings and has an opportunity to respond. Which brings us to the next step, responding to the petition. The spouse who receives the petition, now known as the respondent, has a specified time to file a response. This is their chance to agree, disagree, or provide their own version of the facts stated in the divorce petition. Then, we move to negotiation and trial. This is where both parties, along with their lawyers if they have them, try to resolve the issues outlined in the petition. If a mutual agreement can't be reached, the case moves to trial where a judge makes the final decisions. Finally, we reach the order of dissolution. This is the legal term for the final divorce order. It outlines the judge's decision on all issues and officially ends the marriage. While it might seem daunting, understanding these steps can equip you with the knowledge to handle this challenging process. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to navigating the complex world of divorce proceedings. Let's revisit the key points. First, decide whether you'll hire a lawyer or represent yourself. Both have their pros and cons, so choose wisely. Next, prepare your divorce petition. This is the formal request to the court to end your marriage. It's essential to ensure all information is accurate and complete. Then file the petition with the court and serve the notice to your spouse, a step that legally informs them of the divorce proceedings. Afterward, you'll have to respond to any counter petitions filed by your spouse. This could be a grueling process, but remember, it's crucial to your case. Finally, you'll receive your order of dissolution, marking the legal end of your marriage. Patience is key here as this could take anywhere from a few months to a year. The path to divorce may be complex, but with understanding and patience, it's a process that can be navigated successfully.